Now I'm going to show you uh, the difference between get file processor and uh, list plus fetch instead of get file processor. So in order to pick files from a location, we can use either get a processor or a combination of list plus fetch. So the main difference between those two, we will be shown in this uh, video. Uh, let's start the demo. Let's pull a process group, name it as get fetch demo. Let's go into the processor, process group, and then pull a process, processor called get file. So this get file, we need to configure this. So the only configuration that is mandatory is this one, which I say is a where slash temp slash source one. So if I use this location, this processor will pick files from this location. Apply. And then drag a funnel and then route this, make a connection from get file to this funnel. So, Let's start this process. Uh, so, you know, let me see whether uh, files are existing in this directory. Currently, we are at PWD where it is var term source one. At least one, I don't see any files over there. We'll touch a couple of files. .json. So, one.json. A list. I could see two files there, sample and sample one.json. And if I run once, refresh, the output it got is two files. The two files are queued in this queue in this connection. List queue. And first file is sample.json. And second file is sample one.json. Both are um, zero byte contents since we just touched it. So now if we go to the destination and see lsfnlrth, I don't see any files. These files are moved once it got picked using the get processor. This is the behavior of get file processor. If you want to use a list if, if, and fetch processor, let's see the behavior. Let pull a processor and name it as list processor, select as list file. Let's configure this. Here also we need to provide the location where this processor need to pick the files. So pick the same location. Okay, let's pick the same location. Okay, and then apply. And then cancel and then add a funnel here as well. Listing file will just list uh, the files in that directory. If I let's close this relationship to here and then Touch couple of files again. LS. I see two here. Now, if you run once, refresh, it, it also queued two. But this time, if you look at the list queue, you will see two files as well sample and sample one. Sample and sample one. However, if you list here, these files will not be deleted in the, from the source. So this is the behavior of list plus fledge and the get file. R right now we just listed it, but even we can fetch it from the subsequent process instead of funnel here. 
you can add a page file. And then make a connection to fetch file add refresh this queue is just passed here these two files are passed to the panel and then configure the fetch file here the file uh the fetch file the attributes are already passed from the earlier processor to the funnel and from funnel from here it's absolute path slash file name which is already, if we just start, we will go into that. And completion strategy, here we selected default as none, but we can move the files as well or delete the files as well, but we don't do any of this. If you select the move, you have to mention a destination where this need to be moved. Delete, it will automatically delete. So right now I'm not moving, moving them or deleting them, but just list and fetch them and the list will maintain the state of the what is the, what is the latest file it has been uh, listed. So let's click apply and add one more funnel here, right? On success, I do this. On failures, okay. Let me do everything to this. On failures. To another funnel. Connect this, and then make failure not found permission. Success, it will come to this funnel, first funnel. Failure and the rest of the cases will come to the next funnel. We are expecting the files to be here. Let's start this and once. Refresh. One is queued here. Run one more time. Two files are queued here. So when we run two times, all the two files come and they, those are queued in here. So, and we can do whatever processor that we can do down the lane here, but the, pro, the files will not be deleted. If you see here in the list file, it will have a column called view state. If you see the state here, it will save the state of the list that it has done so right now var temp source one sample one day json is the last file it got scanned it listed and at the timestamp and the process timestamp and you can start clear the state as well but right now i don't um, want to do that i'm not interested in that let's close this and then touch the third file here and then if you see here refresh and then just run once only one file will be queued here see one file will be queued here that's but all the three files will exist here but still one file sample 2.json will be in the queue you see here sample 2.json will be in the queue so that's how the behavior is. And if I start once, run, run, run once here, refresh, it will be queued into the success because it uh, it will be passed to the next funnel. So I hope you understand the difference between the get file and list file. List file will have a state, it will be mentioned and the files in the source will not be moved or deleted. Del I mean, will not be deleted unless we mention it as a move or delete criteria. But whereas the get file, the default behavior will be, uh, the files will get deleted as soon as it got picked. So that's the difference between them. If you if you see here, it won't have a view state functionality, but list file will have a view state functionality, which which means it it has, it it will have some state that has that will be stored. You can clear the state if you want to reprocess the files. Clear state for that the process need to be in stop state. Our, all, our process is already in stop state, so I am able to successfully clear it, close it. And if I run this once, it it right now have three more queues. Because we already queued, it doesn't know the state, we removed the state, so it processed all the three files again, and it is passing, it is trying to pass to the fetch file processor. Um, that's it for this 
video. I hope uh, you understand the difference between get file and list file. Uh, for more videos, please subscribe and have a great day. Bye.